Hello everyone. Our business topic today is a lot of people are waiting for it because it's interfering in a lot of manufacturing process. Everywhere you are going, you can find it. Okay? You can find it in your house, you can find it in commercial shops, you can find it anywhere, you can find it in schools. Anywhere you can trade on it. Anywhere you can make business. It's very easy business, very profitable, less risky, affordable for everyone, and it's unlimited business. You can start small, you can start big. So, our topic of the business today is Wooden Furniture Manufacturing Business Let me explain to you more guys Our biggest version for the wooden furniture or anything related to the furniture is IKEA we are today will consider ourselves as a small version of IKEA, okay? IKEA is very really advanced category. But today we'll start small. We'll start manufacturing doors, windows from the wood, tables, chairs, cabinets, shelves. All of these products you can start it as a small. Doesn't require a lot of money. This is the first thing. Secondly, wood is required product a lot inside the market. Everywhere you can find a wood. It's affordable for everyone. Some is expensive and some is cheap. It's according to the brand and the quality, but at least you can work on it easily. But before starting this business, you have to understand the kinds of the wood and you should have experience in the wood itself. Let me give you a quick brief about the wood. Wood is divided into two kinds. The first kind is hardwood. And this hardwood, every one of us is know it already because it's oak, birch, peach, teak, walnut all of these kinds of hardwood which you can find it anywhere and most of these kinds it's being used inside the furniture of the office or inside uh, the bedrooms uh, salons uh, receptions all of these areas you can find these kinds of wood the second kind of wood which is manufactured wood and this is for engineering services and engineering works. And this manufactured wood is divided into two types. The first one is plywood. And plywood simply, it's used only very light, okay? You can find it if you go to the working sites or the engineering construction, you use it in uh, the shuttering foundation on the base, okay? This is for the plywood. They cannot use it in uh, the interior designs. This is the first thing. Secondly, the second type of the manufactured wood, which is MDF, okay? MDF, this is a board 1.2 meter uh, in uh, 2.4 meter, okay? And this is used in everything, in office furniture, in bedrooms, in household, everything you can find this wood. In order to start in the wooden furniture, you have to be experienced in the joinery works. So what's joinery works? It's a little bit mixing between carpentry experience and engineering or interior design experience. So what is a joinery? It's uh, forming shapes with different materials to create a furniture. Someone will ask me a very important question. So what's the equipment or the machine I needed in order to start the wooden furniture manufacturing business? You need only two machines. The first machine is called CNC router. And this machine is only responsible for decorating on the wood or making designs and carvings on the wood. If you see now doors, shelves, everything, if they have 3D designs on it carved, this is the responsibility of the CNC router machine. So this is very important for you. So if any client coming to you, I want this is specific design, you take from him the design and let the machine translate it on the wood as a carvings. So this is the first thing. Secondly, the wooden cutting machine and this machine is very cheap it's just only a very plain machine only one worker can work on it so you have only two machines cnc router and wooden cutting machine for a cnc router you need only one carpenter and for the wooden cutting machine you need only one labor okay cnc router machine costing you average from four thousand dollar to five thousand dollar it depends on the brand and the quality okay so this is brand new five thousand dollars is nothing okay and the wooden cutting machine maximum it will cost you five hundred dollars only so whole the process it will cost you five thousand five hundred 
let's say $6,000 only. Also, we have another question. Someone will ask me, what is the target of the company? As an advice, not from me, because I've not experienced in this manufacturing business, but what I'm advising you, this depending on a piece of advice, I took it from a businessman or a business owners for this business, okay? You have to be a special in a specific niche. For example, you have to be specialized in office furniture or bedrooms furniture or reception or commercial shops like restaurants and cafe. Choose one of them and specialize in it in order to be pioneer and in order to grow quickly. But if you are working in everything, it will be costly to you. Okay? Everyone is working in general, so it's not something that powerful. So the last thing that you have to identify the kind of or the type of your client. For example, you will be specialized in the office furniture. So this means that your client will be companies and large and small enterprise. Okay? So like this, you are choosing your niche. Second thing, you can be specialized in the chairs and tables. So your client is commercial, which is restaurants and cafe. Third thing, you can work on the beds, the cabinets, the shelves. So your client is householders, residents. So you have to choose which one of them you will play on. And don't forget to put a business plan, which is controlling what is the assets which you have. Do you have a van car? Because this car will transfer all of your furniture from place or from your house to another place. The labors, the manpower, you have exactly, you can start with nine labors only, okay? Two carpenters, two painters, okay? And two salesmen, and one driver, and one engineer. So you have a nine uh, employees. So you have to understand all of this. Does, what's the specification of the place which I will work in? Does it will be a small place? No. 200 square meter, which is 2,000 square feet minimum. You have to rent it, okay? So, does the place will be opened like this or I will make, I will divide my space? You have to divide. You know why? Three divisions in your space. First, you have to put a storage. Secondly, you have to make a space for the painters, for the wood, and this should be separated, okay? And thirdly, for the cutting and for manufacturing the wood for CNC and wooden cutting machine. So we reached at the end of our episode today, guys. I hope really you enjoy it and you collect all of this information. Please take notes in order not to forget anything. And if you are ready to ask me any kind of questions, you can leave for me a comment down in the video. And please, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share in order to grow that channel together or our channel because this channel it's for you. Okay, so please, guys. Don't forget to support me and see you next week on Edith Hassan's projects. Don't forget to subscribe.